Okay, I am attempting to um, do a brief video to talk to you about finding the percent of a given number. When you're finding the percent of a given number, there are some things that you will need kind of in your tool chest to know how to do before you can do those. You're going while you do those changing percent, finding the percent of a given number, you're going to be changing decimals to percent. You're going to need to know how to change a percent to a decimal. You're going to need to know that of means you, you will multiply. You will need to know that is means equal. You will need to know how to multiply whole numbers and decimals. You will also need to know how to divide whole numbers, divide numbers, be they whole number or decimals. There are some other things that you probably will need to know as you change, as you find the percent of a given number. But uh, these are some of the main things that you will need to know. If you find, gosh, I don't know how to do those things, then say, then let me know, Mr. Green, some of those things you listed above, I don't really know how to do. And I will come up with another video or find, not just a video, but work with you to uh, work on those things. The problems that you're going to look, like, look at in order to find the percent of a given number will look like this. Some, some percent of this number is. I know those are blanks. So here's what it looks like. So 60% of 140 is 84. And when you get ready to work those problems, you changing the percent to the decimal, that's 6 tenths times 140 equals 84. And you would do the math. You can get your calculator or whatever and do those problems. I just wanted to let you see what the problems look like. Um, Here's another one. 18 and 75 hundredths is 25% of 75. And so one, it looks like this when you get ready to work it. 18 and 75 hundredths equals 25 hundredths times 75. So that's just me showing you a couple of different ways that when you get ready to work these problems, how they will look. Now what I want to do in the next uh, couple of minutes is just go through a couple of problems so you can see what they will look like. Now the problem that we're going to work first, if I can ever get it set, y'all, is 75% of 52. That means that you would need to write that on your paper, so we'll just watch right now. Write that, or we'll watch, and when you write 75% of 52, you write that, but then you have to come back and you'll have to change this percent to a decimal, so that means you're going to move that decimal point, you're going to get rid of the percent sign, and move the decimal point one, two places to the left. And so that would be 75 hundredths times 52. Then there's the multiplication that goes with that. I'll just show you what the multiplication looks like there. And in fact, I did it two different ways. I, I used something called lattice over here, and I used the regular way that you guys work the problems in class. If you want to find out about that lattice stuff, you can YouTube that. I'll write it down at some, you let me know, I'll write it down. You can YouTube that and look up how to do it. But I multiplied 5 times 2, 5 times 25, and I got 260. I did my place value here, my placeholder, and that's 7 times 2, and 7 times 5, and I got 360. I'm sorry, 36. And then I added those numbers. After I did the multiplication, then I multi after I multiplied by 5, and then after I multiplied by the 7, then I added up what I got. Now I count the decimal places, and I need to move the decimal places, place two places. One, two. So my answer is 39. 
you may be saying, my goodness, that didn't make any sense to me. Well, here's another one for you to watch this happen. 25% of 32 and 4 tenths. 32 and 4 tenths, you're going to just write again. You're going to do 25%. You're going to get rid of the 20 the percent sign. You're going to take the decimal and you're going to move it two places to the left. One, two. So that you're going to be multiplying by 25 hundredths. You're going to write, instead of of, you're going to write the multiplication sign. Then you're going to write 32.4. And it will look like that on the line. <coughs> You come over to the side and do the multiplication. I put 30, 32 and 4 tenths on the top and I put 25 hundredths on the bottom. I did all of the multiplication. And after I did the multiplication, I added what I multiplied. Then I counted up how many numbers are behind the decimal point and that's one two, three. So then I move the decimal point one, two, three places. And my answer is eight and one tenth. And by the way, I did it a second way just to make sure this is lattice. This is called lattice. So if you're interested in learning that is another way to figure out how to multiply. That is a thing that we can make happen. But uh, so my answer is eight and one tenth. That timer just let me know that um, I've talked long enough. What I did want to let you know is coming up soon, what you will be seeing on the other problems is that you will actually, you will get five is 20% of some number. So when you get this, it will be five equals, you change your percent to a decimal and you're looking for that number. So what that means is you have to take the number over here under the equal sign and divide it by this fraction. The answer is that, and it looks like it looks like this. When you divide by a decimal, when your divisor is a decimal, don't forget to move it so that it's a whole number. And if you did it over here to the divisor, you have to do it to the dividend. And then you see my division steps right there. And the answer is 25. And that was as much as I wanted to tell you about that right now. If you need additional help, you can go back and rewind, rewind the video. Or you can make sure you come to me and we can sit down and go through some of them all uh, together.